I met with Megan uh, late last year, and so we had an initial meeting, and then I found out in early January. Oh, it was an extraordinary moment when she told me, of course, it's an incredible thing to be part of such a historic moment, and the fact that also the opportunity to work with her. It was very collaborative. I think she had very much seen my work and, and knew what I did. I think she loved the fact that I was a British designer and working in a house such as Givenchy, which has got uh, its roots in a very classical, beautiful style, of course, um, from the time of Hubert himself. So it was, a, it was a wonderful way to kind of start the collaboration with her just talking about that and also finding um, what she really wanted for her day and just to find the absolute perfect star for her. It's a process to, to actually work on a dress such as this and part of it was really conversations at the beginning and then through a series of sketches that I proposed to her and we exchanged conversations about what would be the ultimate sort of lines and proportions and the, the scale of the dress. But over time, we quickly got to a point where I know she felt really that she knew exactly what she wanted, having tried some toiles and some of the mock-ups that I had shown her. And then it evolved into the final design. Oh, she's exactly what you see on TV. She's just so genuine and warm and um, radiant. She's just glowing and she's she's a strong woman. She knows what she wants and um, it was really an absolute joy working with her. And I came up with the idea of maybe representing each of the countries, the 53 countries of the Commonwealth, through their flora and fauna. And we both love the story of that and it also meant that every single one of those countries also journeyed up the aisle with her, which I thought was a really poetic moment. Even the little 3D flowers here, which are done in organza and just lift gently off the veil. And then some of the flora, so you have some of the orchids from some of the Asian countries. And here's just some of the more wild flowers that would be in the veil and how they were represented and the scale.